my name's Richard. Um, I was born uh, in Shrewsbury in Shropshire. Um, and from the age of uh, zero to six, I was just considered as a, a clumsy baby. They didn't know anything about my BBS or um, about my sight. And then at the age of six, I was diagnosed with BBS. And I had the uh, extra digits when I was born on my uh, right hand and both my feet. Uh, I was a big baby and I had issues with my sight. Uh, and then going, going, growing up, um, I went to Main Prince, uh, mainstream primary school and secondary school and then from there I went on to the college in Hereford the RNC where the first time round I did performing arts which I really enjoyed and I still carry on doing I don't do the dance over anymore but I do the uh, I love singing um, mainly now just on karaoke rather than anything else and I love acting uh, especially mimicking different accents when I I was in college, I used to love doing that. And then from there, I left there the first time in 2003. And whilst I was in college as a younger learner, that's when my sight started to deteriorate. So uh, the one time I was playing pool and my colour vision went where all the yellow balls looked like the white ball and the, I couldn't see the black ball in the shaded parts of the table. So um, my colour vision went then. And then I still had some... Uh, bit of physical vision, but that started going towards the end of 2003. And then by the end of January 2004, all I had was light perception. But from there, from now on, that's when things started getting really good. A lot of the good stuff I've done in my life is since I've lost my sight. So I, um, I went back to college for a year from 2005 to 2006, where I did an MVQ level three in customer service which I really enjoyed as I'm a people person. So we did a lot of uh, things where we would uh, ask people to do uh, different surveys, talking to people on the phone and things like that, which I really enjoyed. And I finished that in the June of 2006. And after then, I went on holidays with my family to Spain uh, four different times. And I also went to... Uh, different. I love my sport. I went to see my local team, Shrewsbury, uh, and been to see other sport. And I love going to uh, concerts. So in uh, I've been to many different concerts, but in 2016, um, I went to a concert by myself, uh, and that was really interesting. So I, I was just at, all the time. I just had help from the assistants at the train station to get me into the taxi taxi to where I was staying, and then the, the actual uh, member of staff from the hotel I was staying, he came with me and made sure I got to where I was going for me evening food. And then from there, the staff helped me over to where the concert was, and then the staff inside were amazing. And at the end, when it finished, uh, they helped me to a taxi, and I got back to where I was staying. And that, for, for me, that was really real good confident booster to, to know I could do that by myself. Um, and then... Uh, I was on the board of trustees for BBS UK. Um, I did that up until uh, 2019. Going for, I, I was a trustee first, and then I was the vice chair for a bit, and then I was the chairperson uh, up until uh, 2019. And I really enjoyed that, uh, helping out going to Site Village and raising awareness of uh, BBS to people who didn't had never heard of it or didn't know what, what, what it was, which was really good to raise more awareness about the charity and uh, also helping out here at the, the conference, doing the quiz, helping out with the adult socials in the evening, uh, which I still do and I really enjoy helping. That's my way of helping now. Now I'm not a trustee, um, I still volunteer for BBS UK because I, I believe that, you know, that the more we can tell people about BBS, the more people can, can learn about it and the it can raise the profile of the of the charity and just make people more aware about it. Um, and then through, so after 2019 um, with BBS, go, going back, other voluntary work I have done, um, I've done voluntary work for the RNIB uh, from 2013 until last year. Um, I was doing lots of different technology roles with them. So I started first, they had a program called Get Connected, which was, about, which was about connecting people to technology. That then got changed to the Online Today program, and it is what is now 
known today as the Technology for Life that the RNIB do. Um, and I did that for where I live in Wales up until last year. And then uh, since then, I now volunteer for Retina UK, uh, where I do an online group for Wrexham and Wales to uh, basically help people not be social isolated um, and just to ha help people network together to just have uh, more time to get to know other people and just have a good social. And we have different speakers that will give up their time to talk. And then, as we all know, we had, uh, so beginning of 2020, uh, went, I went to the theatre with Rachel, to, we went to see uh, Mary Poppins, the musical, which I really loved. And then after that, um, I had to shield for the first time in the August, uh, from April to August. And then after then, when we went, because I was living in Wales and Rachel lived in England, um, I couldn't see each other. And uh, we got, Rachel and I got together in, the December 2017 and we then had in the September of 2020 we had a 10-day window where uh, we were to see each other and within that 10-day window um, I proposed to Rach because by that time we'd been together for three or nearly three years and uh, she, luckily she said yes <laughs> and, 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 and just let people know you may be surprised, but it was the one and only time that Rachel has never said anything. <laughs> Until she said yes. <laughs> and then, um, really looking forward, next year, um, Rachel and I are getting married, so... Um, yeah. yeah. So, really looking forward to that, and um, I just wanted to uh, say... Um, it, we got so after that we had the 10 day window and uh, then we the rules changed again so i i we couldn't see each other and the the, the, the first and second times i had to shield wasn't too bad because then the first time i had to shield i was able to go through my flat uh, which i've lived in uh, 16 years i moved in there in 2007 and it wasn't too bad because I was able to go through room by room to declutter. That was fine. And the second time it was only like a short one. But then when we got to the third one, I, I, I got a bit frustrated and I got into a bit of a rut and a bit low because I couldn't see my friends, couldn't see my family apart from my mum, who is my PA. So she was able to come in and help to go out to have the one day of exercise. Uh, so unfo unfortunately, because I got into a bit of a rut and I got a bit low because I couldn't see Rach or my friends or my family, I ate all the types of wrong different food, drank too much. And I got to a point in April of 2021 where I thought to myself, I can't, I can't go on with this. I've got to um, stop and, you know, cause none of my clothes fitted me and I was feeling, I, I could hear myself wheezing when I was uh, sending messages to Rach over, over WhatsApp. So um, I decided there and then to, to lose weight. And all I've done to lose weight, I've do, I just do three things I have uh, willpower, portion, con portion size control, and exercise. And for doing that, um, to date, I'm managing to maintain my weight, and I've lost between five and five and a half stones of weight since I started in 2021. <laughs> and I, I feel much better. Um, d d didn't do, didn't do uh, very well to my bank balance, so I had to buy new clothes, but you know. <laughs> Um, but yeah, um, and li life's, life's good, life's great. And I, 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 I just wanted to do my talk today just, just to say to people, you know, we have BBS, but we, we're, he we're, you know, we're our own selves. And yes, it may be, like, I can't see it at all now, I'm totally blind. And yes, it can be difficult, it can be frustrating. But at the end of the day, my thing is like, if you, if you want to do something, you just go, just go and do it. But for me, I've had to just adjust to be able to do it in a way that I can do it. So it may, depending on like, because I know we're all different with BBS. Some people's sight is like we all we're all different in the way it um, affects us. But my, mine is just if it, if you want to do it, you can do it, and don't let anyone tell you you can't do it because we're we're we're, we're all we're we're all like a big BBS family and. Yeah, I, you know, if you want something, go for it because, 
you know, it's there for if you want to do it. So thank you for listening today. And if anyone wants to come and speak to me, I'll be here the rest of the weekend and hope you all enjoy the rest of your time and hope you enjoy, if, if you're staying for the quiz later, hope you, hope you have a good rest of your time here at the conference. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs>